Oh. Oh shit. for me to get out of here without killing myself now with the power on. Probably not. I could be mistaken, though. I, you know, I, I would like to be mistaken. I could use the glue gun. Sure. But that's a lot. Hey, Mika Draws. Uh, the game's pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. like that thing. Seriously invisible? The demo scared you? Uh, I don't think I found it too scary yet, per se. Uh, it's certainly atmospheric. I, I really like games like this that are atmospheric as hell. Okay, well, we got that all back on then. True. Cool. All right, what do we got then? Uh, what? Why can't I use this? That was weird. Volunteer quarters access. Uh, uh door just shut. We're gonna unlock that. Probably. Stupid idea, but we did. One email. From Bianca to John. John, thanks for reaching out. I've asked Chief Elazar to send a team to do a quick once-over of the premises to ensure that you are absolutely safe during the next shift. Obviously, the safety of both our volunteers and our security staff is our number one priority. We unfortunately can't post any more security personnel to this location at the time, but we're looking to expand our security staff and may be able to revisit this issue in the future. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bianca Good, Volunteer Liaison. 
Uh, the original email read from John to Bianca, Miss Goodwin. I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, 16 threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 5479, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Ah, oh, thanks for the host. Um, game art style reminds you of yours. I'm going to have to take your word for it. You finished Little Nightmares. Nice. What would you think of it? I finished that the other night as well. Um, I really I, re I really enjoyed that one. I really did. So, let me glue gun my way up there, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize I was on that. Jump up. Wait, what? I jumped up there before. What? What the hell? <laughs> okay, you're not going to let me jump up there suddenly. All right. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to uh quick save again and I'm going to um restart my game. So just bear with me. Some some funky's going on where he's not mantling like he should be. Um and the uh screens aren't doing as they like the the computer terminals aren't working as they should be. So I'm going to I'm going to nip that in the bud right now and hopefully it's not a thing. I wish the last two chapters was a bit were a bit longer, but than that it was good. Yeah. I wish the game was a bit longer overall too. Um Steam's sinking right now, by the way. That's why it's taking so long to launch. Uh yeah. Overall I really enjoyed it. I just wish it was, like you said, a bit longer. First couple chapters definitely seem to be substantially longer than than the uh last half of the game. Um what are you going to do, I guess? And then I played Scanner Somber after that, after Little Nightmares that night. Scanner Somber is pretty good, too. It was also really short. It was under, I think it was under two hours, something like that. Um, splash screens are very loud. Um... Uh, Spirit Away. I don't... Is that, uh... Is that a show, a movie, or a game? It sounds familiar, but I don't know for sure. All right, there we go. Yeah, this seems to be fixed now. All right. How am I going to get over there then? Probably... Right? It's an anime movie? Okay. Yeah, it sounds familiar, but I've never, never seen it myself. Almost. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're up. Take a wrench. I don't want a wrench. So what's up here then? It just sounds like there's something around here. Got him. Girl's parents turned to pigs, so she works for a witch and her hotel. The witch is doing alright for herself that she's got a hotel as well. Hmm. What the hell am I at right now, anyway? Maybe Garrett... 
gear optimizer. Got a new chipset. All right, let's take a look at that then. Increases movement and aiming speed while firing the glue cannon or Q-beam. All right, sounds good. So what do we have here? We have three, six, and there are eight. So hopefully we get more than eight mods. Divya Nas. Okay. The Neural Horizon 1. First excerpt from Brandy's story, case studies of Neuromod donors and recipients. The process doesn't hurt, not at all. Brandy Grace speaks happily, enthusiastically. Her smile is radiant, her eyes bright. There is no hint of the per paraplexus eating at her nerve endings. The Olympic medals lie in their glass cases, facing her like an audience. Yet I still had my love of skating, but the skill fell trapped inside my head. The mods, she corrects, the neuromods, allowed that skill to be shared with others, a gift. You have a hard time spilling? Oh, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. Let's see. Leverage two. Huh. Hmm, I can't. Oh, all right. Ow, what? Did the thing hurt me? Is that what it was? This thing? It's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't think that the glass would actually break. You just burst through there, didn't you? No type of material detected. Well. Oi. Spare parts. I use that right now. Just dump the paper, I guess. <laughs> really don't want to put, touch that butt? Yeah. Mor Morgan, you has got a hell of a butt on him. All the aliens want it. <coughs> what? <coughs> Hello, what? Where? What? There's another one apparently somewhere there. Hey, spare parts take dismantle required. Mm. Don't have that yet then. Well. Where am I? Oh, I'm back up here. Oh, wow, okay. Pretty nifty. Really? Oh, can I make this shot with this thing? Hold on. Got it. No, don't. Yeah, all right. Didn't need no key card. Woo! Exotic materials. AK-16. From its big brother. Uh, I don't know. It's real close to System Shock, I think, but it's definitely got a lot of things going for it that 
I didn't really particularly care for in System Shock. It's flowers it's physics are freaking out on the flowers there. The Fly, excerpt from a book of poems by William Blake. Little fly, the summer's play. The summer's play, my thoughtless hand has brushed away. Am I not a fly like thee, or out now not thou a man like me? For I dance and drink and sing, till some blind hand shall brush my wing. If thought is life and strength and breath, and thou want of thought is death, then am I a happy fly if I live or if I die? I believe that was uh, also uh, the mantra of Jeff Goldblum. Okay. Please wait in progress. May continue fabricating neuromods under current license. What? Fabrication department is a class 1000 clean room. Operate doors with caution. Pursuant to Transfer Standard 309F, concentration of airborne particulates must be controlled to within speci specified limits. All right, let's open that up right now then. Regarding exotic materials, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's. From Helen to Holden, well, then, where do you think it comes from? You're sitting on the station's largest store of it, and you haven't wondered what it is that they have us injecting into our frontal lobes? You're brilliant, Graves, but you have the mind of an engineer. Good at answering questions, but not asking them. Second guessing the used never struck you until now. In struck you until you saw the report from Psychotronics, did it? Yeah, Jeff Goldblum fly oh yeah 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 the original the original prey was i love that game um and i really liked what they showed for prey 2 as well and i mean so far this really isn't like a spiritual successor outside a name um but anyway it's still fun i think they just had the prey name and they didn't know what to do with it <laughs> Missing neuromods. We have four neuromods here in the test labs. We received four, signed for four, and there are four in our second storage. If you're saying you shipped seven, I advise you to take it up with security and your delivery personnel. This is the first time neuromods have gone missing somewhere between fabrication and testing. Give me the darts back that I used to open this door. So much crap in my inventory. So much crap. All right. Non terrestrial. Let's see. It all comes from them. Get it out now. So, I mean, obviously the neuromods seem to come from the aliens. That's what I'm guessing. Neuromod fabrication plan. Yes. Lab secure. Well, except for Igwe. But he'll be up all night. Speaking of up, did you see the photos of his daughter Maya? But that's not his daughter. It's his wife. Are you kidding me? No, she died. Well, when Igwe was younger, it's in his records. Christ, you've seen his records? Yeah. During the security checks, looking for those red flag sykes that the brass is up in arms about. Apparently, came home, found her dead on the floor. Aneurysm. Spent your life studying the brain. The brain takes its toll. With everything else going on at the time, with the shaming... Christ. You already said that. But I don't think he heard you. He's not looking at this station, that's for sure. Alex. I figured it out. Just too late. Graves. You still in fabrication? The receptor molecules. The exotic neurotransmitters. We didn't synthesize them. And... There's no terrestrial source. Graves, don't do anything drastic. You know me. You know I always have a contingency plan. We've been shoving it into our skulls. It all comes from them. 
But you, you never... I'm going to send someone to help you. I need to get this out now. Oh, God, but the Neuromods, they can still be fabricated. Graves, do not touch the Neuromod licenses. Do you hear me? Yeah, this is actually the pre-order shotgun. It has the same stats as the normal shotgun, but it just looks a little cooler. Um, so I'm, I've been using this one above the normal shotgun. Um... So we know how to make neuromods now. That's pretty cool. Wait a second here. Is this where I thought I was? This is not actually where I thought I was then. This is... Oh, well, we'll go down here. I'm sorry, was there a thing up here? Thank you. I don't know where he came from. Fuck yeah. Screw you, glass. Hmm. Well, two to hack. Weird. Frederick Steele. Holding Graves' office. Hey, I got the key card that I broke my way into. Oh, well. I honestly don't know where I'm at now. I went back to the first area and suddenly I'm in like... Holy crap, there's so much back here. Oh, Fabricator. I would like a uh, Recycler actually. Is there one around? Am I missing it? There's gotta be one around, right? I don't know what you are, but you're big, and oh fuck, you're the things that are outside. That did little to nothing to you, huh? Alright, fair enough. Did the enemies respawn? I don't believe they respawn, but once you hit, hit certain milestones of progress, um, different enemies will kind of get into an area. So I guess in a way they do respawn. I have one shot left in this thing, I just realized. You know what? I don't think you can shoot me, so... I guess for all intents and purposes, you could just say that they respawn. Honestly, it's probably, yeah. Um, but they're always kind of like different enemies. Harder enemies. Alright.
Well, we can get clear some of this up now at least, so that'll be nice. I love that. I also love the sound of just rapidly picking all that stuff up, too. It's so good. So good. All right. I wonder if this will do much. Literally almost nothing. Wasn't done exploring yet. Did you fuck my turret up already? Wait, where's my turret? I don't know where my turret went. What? <laughs> oh, fuck, there's. Didn't think would be able to see me there, but yes, it did. All right, let's just. Fair enough. Oh, this is where. Okay. So, please shut the door. Thank you. You stay there, please. Wow, I made a hell of a trip around here then. If I'm now, if I entered here at the start and literally went all the way around. Can I play pinball now? No. Damn it. Wow. Yeah, this is where I started. And I went all the way around. There's still a big section I didn't see yet, apparently. How? Holy crap. Oh, maybe it's on this. Yeah, it might be on a different level. No, I don't know. It's smart. Yeah, it's super smart. That's kind of annoying how smart it is. All right. Looting all the food. We're good. We're good. All right. You want pinball? Pinball's pretty good. Hello, banana peel. I think we're good in here for the most part. Yeah, this is so electric in here. All right. Well, I guess I... I've already done all these. Oh, these are... Are these all open now? No, they're not. That sucks. However, I can loot all of these now that I have... some space. Get back on the treadmill. Alright. Okay. Well, I mean, that area might be for a thing for another time. I don't know. There's just so much going on. Really? Still? Can't figure out how these doors work yet, though. Huh. All right. Surprised those alarms did not go off, actually. Back out we go here. All right.
still only have one round. You know, or if I should, uh, or if I should try this thing on the big guy. Are you? I literally don't have any space for anything. And I literally just cleaned it out, too. Holy crap. Disruptor stun gun? You gotta give me another gun right now and I don't have the room? All right, here's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna save. I've got 559 rounds of this. Let's fucking do this. Wait, wrong room. It's over here. Let's go time. Oh, but seriously, where'd my fucking... All right. Okay. Okay. Have you seriously not reloaded this thing yet? The fucking electrical discharge. Okay, so that, I mean, it, it did some damage, but the electrical discharge ate that ammo. That's what was happening. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh. Oh, man. That's messed up. Or it was, I don't know if it was eating the ammo or at least just causing the gun not to work. And I think that might be it. Because the screen was blank on it, I noticed. I mean, I feel like that could be done. I can try it one more time. I'm willing to try it one more time. Maybe do a little bit more hiding than I did. Also, I could probably use one of these. Things are far smarter than a lot of AI in other games. Which is a little annoying. Hi. Yeah, it just stops the the thing from working completely. I could do it. Uh, I hope so.
know if that was worth. I really don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> ah, yep. Oh well. Now we know. Those are those are a thing. Well, hey, guess what? Guess what I'm gonna make? Oh. Well, neuromods first of all, and maybe some uh, more of the Q beam cells. Keep making them. Why not? I... Mm. One more? We'll do one more. Okay. Uh, Hacking 2, Physician 2. GG, thank you. That was... That was insane. Make one more and get Gunsmith 2. Um, wow. Natural lifespan increased by 25 years. Natural lifespan increased by 50 years. Natural lifespan increased by 75 years. Some really good things here. Like, it's really hard to pick out, pick what I want next. Uh, more damage with guns is always nice. We'll hold off on that other one for a little bit, I guess. Yeah, that seemed pretty worth. I still... Where was... Oh, the... Uh, I want, what do I have here? Circuit... Burnt circuit board. I don't have enough space. Uh, what can I drop here? Anything in... You know, let's just go recycle right now. Woo! Alright. You know what? I kind of want to get rid of the uh, alcohol as well. We'll do... Okay. Uh, wait, did I not move it? Did I, did I do something? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, it's still... Mm. There we go. No. I literally have to hit enter. I couldn't use the mouse for any of that for some reason. I don't know why, but that's... Duck beer. Transfer that over. It's just so much food here. But I really, I mean, I guess it's good to have, but. Uh, nine millimeter bullets. Oh, damn it. I need to make more bullets, too. Well, now that we got more materials, I mean, that's probably a thing that I can do.
This gives me a chance to look back here, too. More spare parts. Broken cooler fan. Nice. So I really didn't get a chance to do any of that with that thing in here before. What are you? Nothing? Seems like you might have been something. Cool. <clears throat> it's pretty nice how they have all the uh, materials just kind of be their own cubes in my inventory without too much issue. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. We're good to go. Storage already looked in. Didn't we? Didn't we? All right. Let's calm down. Yeah, cuz I had all that stuff in it. I don't think I saw anything else really here. Although It's such a crazy grenade. Ridiculous grenade that just turns stuff into better stuff for me. I really like it. Really like it. Oh, hello. I wonder if there's uh, going to be a gun or something that you can use that just does that for you. Or if it's just going to be limited to a grenade. <clears throat> All right, so there was a new gun over here that I can hopefully maybe now pick up. That bomb is really cool. It's so cool. Destructor stun gun. The Disruptor stun gun will knock out human targets. Typhoon are more resistant but can still be temporarily stunned. Robotic devices can also be temporarily disabled. And oh. <coughs> And ultimately destroyed by the disruptor. Hold mouse one to charge your stun gun and release to fire. Hold R to reload. Excuse me. All right. Fair enough. It's for the banana peel. So many banana peels around. At least the potassium intake was good. Uh, volunteer testing. Welcome, volunteers. Yay! Nothing. Don't have any of that. Hmm. Hmm. Don't get sick. I, I, I think it's. I really think it's allergies. Um. Weather here has sucked. It's been raining now the past few days, which is just. I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, okay. Woo! So, if this can disrupt electronics, I wonder then. Ah, it didn't work. Allergies, yeah. It's pretty bad. Oh, wait, this is a level one. I know this. God dang it! <laughs> Was seriously out of inventory space already? I did get a weapon upgrade kit though. Oh yeah. Um Hmm. 
gonna keep going with the shotgun. Shotgun's been feeling pretty good so far, I think. Password found. Well, a whole lot of good that did me getting in here then. I mean, oh, hold on. Reminder, bring turrets up to fabrication. All right, well, that, that was nothing. Okay. Well, I did get the weapon upgrade thing, I suppose. So that's good. Uh, there was nothing in there that I can remember... Um. Oh, can I lift these now? Yeah, I can. Well. I'm in. Damn you, sticky note. Sticky notes, tough. Send me the game. Jiao Long Heng. Okay, uh, well, I mean, that was something. Cool. So now that I know what was in pretty much everywhere here, still can't access this, I don't think. See security for entrance, right. So I can't do that until I can access that. I can't access that until I at least get level 2 security or find the password. Alright, well, uh, let's continue onwards then. I think the next big upgrade I get is going to be for capacity. Again. Because, man, I need it. Three. Something just opened somewhere. Oh, hey, turret. <laughs> Gotta put you there. Leverage three, leverage three. Man, they really don't want me getting in there. IT security, we've already been in here. Uh, we'll just take it. See, it's so weird because there's so much stuff all around. That. Going back to places. Um, You've already been to. Uh, yields quite a few new things that you could possibly get. I haven't even been in here yet. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Recycler immediately. Let's pick up more stuff while we're here then. Huh. 
Kind of metroidvania -ish? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, S System Shock games are, all, are usually about, like, stuff like that. Same with, like, Deus Ex. International Art Talus Edition. The Translator Corporation commissioned several high-profile artists to create works exclusively for Talus 1, the orbital research and development facility that, facility that has brought us the Neuromod and many other technological wonders. Renowned Belgian sculptor Frederick Smart sculpted the work Smoke Signals, which forms the centerpiece of the employee dining hall. The installation artist, simply known as Jesse, constructed the chains of marble glass panels which soared gracefully overhead in the Talus 1 lobby. And former street artist pa pa Patrick O designed a series of exclusive posters for Transstar featuring impressions of Orbit, Eclipse, and other celestial themes in his signature geometric style. He also developed the Neuromod promotional image featuring the likeness of actor Daisy Prince. Transstar president Alex Yu commented, Art inspires, fires our creativity, fires our creativity, it makes us look beyond our present circumstances to what might be possible. You're a real wily one, aren't you? Who are you? Octavia Figs. Oh. Oh, got a new thing. Are you on your way? On my way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Ugh. Oh. Make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. It's a good thing she listened. I'm gonna start dumping food in this thing now, too, because man alive is there so much here. Face huggers, yeah, exactly. They're all about my mug, my super unshaven, unkempt mug. Oh, that's another one of those doors over here. Oh, okay, so that's just this is just the other side, then. Interesting. I don't like what your pose is. Please stop. Thank you. Can't wait for the new alien. The mo the the new movie, or the new alien thing that'll probably show up in this game. <laughs> Anything else around here? Doesn't really look like it. What's that? That's an alarm. Just kind of looking around, making sure I'm not missing anything super obvious. It's hard to tell sometimes. Okay, all right. Pioneers of the space industry. Working aboard a space station like Talus is comparable to working on Earth. Employees tend to forget that they are in space and adapt very well. By contrast, the truth of psychological and behavioral data has been compiled by a decade-long study of Pythias employees. The Pythias facility sits deep in a grater on the lunar pole, permanently shadowed and surrounded by kilometers of ice. Beneath Pythias is a vast network of crumbled tunnels where helium-3, hydrogen, and platinum are mined. This is a dark, cold, and often terrifying workspace cut off from the warm glow of Earth, which exacts a heavy and often fatal toll on the crew. Oh, the movie? I haven't seen too much about that. I haven't seen really many previews. Um, I think I saw, like, the first preview, and then they came out with another one recently. But I haven't I haven't really looked at that yet. Oh, there's a note. An unlabeled food will be... Th all Any unlabeled food will be thrown out Friday. So does that mean all the unlabeled food was just thrown out? He's just... Is, he's just Throwing out food like it's no one's business. 
What is this? Nothing, apparently. Alright. Alright, we need to do something about this, because man, oh man. I think anything that only has, like, one, I'm just going to throw inside the recycler. Except for the Neuromod, of course. We've got so much tank food. <sighs> got a lot of weapons as well. Is there anything I don't want to use? I, I still, I don't know if I should be taking this with me. The tracking bracelet of Sylvie, Sylvain Bellamy. I'm just going to, you know what? I should just drop that off in my, like, locker or something. Same with the Psy mods, because I don't have any Psy abilities yet. Hmm. Goodbye, Veggie Blend. Yeah, I really do need that inventory upgrade, you're right. I might... Yeah. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Okay. Well, let's uh let's head on over to my office. Stop it. Um You got neuromods for me yet? You designed me to assist you. I have more instructions. But I can't access them until you've recovered both arming keys. Okay, I'm guessing you'll give me more neuromods after that too, huh? Okay. How much is it for the inventory space? Let me look right now. It's here. Three more. I could maybe do it. All right, let's just do it now. Done. There's a lot of there's a lot of neuromods. Um, I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. Actually, you know what? Let's keep that, and we'll put in probably the beer. I thought I had beer. Did I drink it already? Popstar. I might have drank, drank it already. Uh, I'm going to dump the Psy mods in there now as well. I'll come back here, I guess, if I ever get an Psy ability. I'm assuming I will. That is for sure. I mean, there are three extra slots for, a, you know, Neuromod upgrades. So, it is what it is. Okay. Hope that I hope that actually stays there and doesn't, like, magically disappear through the power of... Uh, 
video games. Oh. Andy Bridge, I guess. Alright, so what I need is downstairs, right there. Nope, one more. All right, that, that had me a little on edge. It's fine. Stick note, game night. Elias, you left your character sheet on the printer. Don't forget we moved the game to the rec center in crew facilities, and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take a happy pill before showing up. See you there. Are they talking about Viagra? Is this that kind of game night? One of the, one of the ones that get freaky? This is probably not a thing. I hope that's not actually a thing. It's probably a thing, though. Yuri! Turns out Yuri Kamara is light like everyone else. I'll tell you over lunch. Oh, level two... Oh, is there another sticky note around here that I can use? Hello, Morgan. This time we spoke. My code name is December. My purpose is to help you escape Talos 1. I know your memory shot full of holes, but you left instructions that the Typhon should break containment to Alex as a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the Neuromod division, along with a supply cache. I'll transmit the location to your map. I'll contact you again when you've got the key. What? That's weird. Dungeon and Dragons gone wrong? I mean, we're like gone wild, am I right? Okay. Oh, was that just to let me through here without hurting myself all the time? I guess I, I don't know if I keep doing that. Uh, recycler. Uh, I'm probably going to need this. Just do it. Just repair it. All right. So we got that now, I guess. Don't know how to get through those things yet. All right. So what the hell was... The all right. What the freaking crap? All right, so these guys leave a little pile of purple goo all the time. Good to know. I don't like this. Hmm. Oh, all right. 
Well, we're going to Psychotronics. Psychotronics Lab was built around the Russian Verona 1 satellite that first encountered the Typhoon to Ecology in 1959. Read those fast, because the loading screens aren't long at all. Access to guts. Do you have it? Da -da. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Guts. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Sneak attack and surprise attack. Silly mimic. That is pretty creepy. We found Otto. Got it. These darts are so good. Nice, another weapon upgrade kit. Cool. All right, area map, yes, don't mind if I do. Cool. All right, uh, weapon upgrade kit. What do I want to use it on? Oh, let's go with... Do I have the glue cannon? I guess. Behind the Iron Curtain. Excerpt from a historical account of the civil unrest within the Soviet Union by Dr. Luke Manor Banda. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States had warned, warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung icily between the two countries. Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision still found itself alive and well within the oft-expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. 
But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find that the public outcry no longer came just from just the Americans, but from amongst its own citizens. The Meshevkin, Me, Mensheviks, Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine. Well, at first only a minority, the Menshevik, Mensheviks, Menshevik movement continued to grow rapidly. Events would ultimately culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention with the outbreak of civil unrest led by the Mensheviks and the beginning of the Second Purge. What turrets, huh? Huh. That concerns me, I think. Maybe not. Maybe there's nothing to worry about. I don't know. Eradicator auto turret version 0.7.6. I don't know where I should be pointing these things at. So maybe. That? Telestation. It just says Telestation. <laughs> Clean room prep. Leverage two. All right. Contaminant. 